Today I want to talk about Celosia, the coxcomb variety to be specific. Come on chickens. Hi guys, Amanda here at Whitewood Acres. Thanks for joining me today. So here in southeastern Ontario, it's growing zone 6B and it's October, so I thought we could talk about seed saving today. Growing's a passion of mine and I start 90% of my gardens from seed. Gardening's expensive and I'm cheap as hell. <laughs> so I collect my own seeds. 90% of my garden I planted for free and I'm talking about like vegetables, flowers, herbs, pumpkin, sunflowers, like everything in between. Sponges, we grew our own sponges and now I'll have seeds for sponges. So today I'm saving seeds from my coxcomb, which is a celosia variety. Celosia is in the amaranth family. Like these blooms are so unique with their little velvety frills that resemble the comb of a chicken. <laughs> they come in a ton of colors and I actually have plans for these this year. I'm drying them so when the holidays come around I can use them in my Christmas garland. Here is one actually that I hung to dry a few weeks ago and look at it, it is perfect. The color is perfect, it is exactly as it was when I hung it up, so it didn't really fade at all. And it stayed like nice and fluffy also, so it didn't flatten out or anything. You can't even really tell the difference. Actually, these are floppier because I picked them early this morning. So I'm gonna be hanging these upside down to dry and they'll be ready when I do my Christmas decorations. But before I hang them up, I'm gonna take some seeds. Let me show you how I do that. Okay, I've pulled a couple examples here to show you one that doesn't have seeds and one that does have seeds. But don't be looking in my hands. I'm a gardener, I can't help it. So here's one that does not have any seed pods. You can, the seed pods would be right here and this one is not matured enough to have any seed pods. And here's one beside it. It doesn't have much of a bloom, but you can see it's got these little balls on here. And if you kind of peel back the little flowery bits and give them a shake, you can see the little black celosia seeds falling out. Here's another one. You can see this one has, it kind of looks like a pineapple almost on the bottom it's got the, that means it's full of seeds so I'm just going to kind of give it a little scrub and the seeds will fall out and you may have to blow some of the chaff off and there's going to be a bit of chaff that comes off as well but ultimately what you're looking for are these little tiny black seeds and that's how easy it is to get seeds from your celosia. So if you're growing coxcombs, now's the time to go and get your seeds. Good luck with that. Thanks for watching and happy growing. See you on the next one.